Yes, and today we are making roasted chickpeas. You like chickpeas? She doesn't like them, but they're really tasty and they're really healthy, but she was a sport, she tried it. But today she's just gonna help make them. So we are making roasted chickpeas. I came along this recipe um, and this method actually from Babish, from Binging with Babish, and uh, tweaked it a little bit, but oh my gosh, I fell in love. It was such an amazing, satisfyingly crunchy snack that I have to make it in. So I just made the uh, chickpeas in my Instant Pot, and for a link to that video, click up here, and you'll see how quickly and easy it is to make Instant Pot chickpeas but the first thing you got to do with these chickpeas so you can either use um, like a canned chickpea or if you're using dry chickpeas like we did what you need to do is you going to spread it out on some paper towels that should be good what you think about that and then we have to dry them first so you're going to do this you're going to wrap go so Ginevra is my sous chef go wrap 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 two hands two hands you want to rub them dry, and also it takes away some of the, the shells, too, like the, the skin casing. I don't know what really what it's called. Uh, this is only my like second time working with chickpeas, guys, but oh my gosh, i got to work with them more often. So you want to get them as dry as possible in order to get a nice roast on them. Before you bake them, of course, remove the paper towels. Okay, now can you spread it out for me? Yeah, just like, like that. Good job. So you want to make sure that the chickpeas have lots of space. Okay. And then we get to the fun part. We're going to use some olive oil. We're just using the Aurora brand. I hope you will see that. You're hoping that I'll use olive oil? Why? Because I like to use it. Oh, okay. She likes olive oil. So then you want to be kind of generous with your olive oil, actually. You don't want to skip out too much on it. And you're also going to preheat your oven at either 375 or 400 degrees. I'm doing 375 because I think that my oven actually is, um, it runs a little bit hotter than what it shows. And so while I preheat it, Ginevra's going just to kind of paint them and mix it up a little bit. Okay? I'll put a few more in. Because you love them? I love them. They're so yummy and they're really good for you. Mm. Are they done? Are you good? So now after you get it all nice and mixed up, what you want to do is, I think I have a bit too much olive oil here, but that's okay. What you want to do is you want to make sure that they're nice and spread out so that they have a lot of space to breathe. Wait, can I breathe? <laughs> Daddy, do pants breathe? Yep. Yep. Tano says yes. Mm. And so the only thing we're gonna do to them right now is we're just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And when I cooked them, I did salt the water. So they already are a little bit, they already have some salty flavor to it. Ah, it's a lot! Okay, now you're going to sprinkle with the other hand, pinch and sprinkle. Good job, make sure it's nicely like that. Yeah. You can also salt it more afterwards. Or you can even just pick one up right now and taste it if you want. Make sure all of it has it, yeah. Good, good, is it that? Ah, okay, do that over there. Okay, good. What is that? Put a little bit in your hand. And we're just going to just add a little bit of pepper. And then all of the other spices we're going to do at the end after it comes out, after it roasts, so that it doesn't burn. All right, done. Now, once the oven's ready, I'm just going to stick it in for between 20 to 30 minutes. And um, every 10 minutes, we're just going to shake the pan a little bit to make sure it doesn't stick. Come here. Is that fun? All right. So soon we get to enjoy some chickpeas. You excited? <laughs> Oven's ready. Let's stick her in. Every 10 minutes, I'm just going to give it a little shake until it's ready. It should be ready in about 20 to 30 minutes. Last time, I think I did for like 25 minutes, and it was like, Perfect. Wait, not yet. <laughs> All right, so 10 minutes yeah. gone by. Hot. Yep, 
do this. A little gentle shake. Put it back in and close it for another 10 minutes. All right. Another 10 minutes have gone by. Give it a shake. When it starts turning a nice golden brown, that's when they're ready. So I think this just needs a couple more minutes. Five more minutes, or maybe even three minutes. All right, they are now ready. Nice and hot. Oh, perfect golden brown. Mm. And so while they're hot like this, what you want to do is you want to season them now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add a touch more pepper, shake on a bit of garlic, and just a hint of cumin. You can add like curry, anything you want, really. Just a touch. Just give it a good stir just to make sure everything is nice and mixed. Oh my god, that smells divine. Wow. I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit before taste testing, but they should be delicious. Because right now they're just way too hot to eat. Mmm. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Mmm, 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 so good. It's like uh, just a hint of saltiness, has a nice crunch to it, and they're gonna crunch up a little bit more even as they cool down just a smidge. But you do wanna enjoy these hot. Right. Fresh. Mmm. It's such a good snack. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little roasted chickpea video. And thank you so much, Never, for helping Mama. Do you wanna try one? No. Mwah, but you love cooking? Yeah, so now we're going to bake something else. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by giving us a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, yeah, subscribe to our channel so you never miss a, a video notification. We love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.